The Foundation's Investor Protection Campaign gives investors the tools they need to make informed financial decisions and particularly to avoid investment fraud. So our program is comprised of three primary elements, research, educational programs and partnerships and tools, as well as outreach. We work internally with our meetings group to uh, develop investor forums across the country. And then we have a full program using our Outsmarting Investment Fraud curriculum. We focus on three pillars of our campaign, which are looking at risk and the risk behaviors of that person who might potentially fall victim to a scam. We also look at the persuasion tactics that scammers use which we call the red flags of fraud. And that really is looking at the psychology of the scam and, and essentially how it actually works. And thirdly, we look at prevention. What we've learned through research is folks don't know where to turn, in addition to being embarrassed, of course. And so we wanna make sure we get all of our tools and resources out there so that people feel comfortable coming to us and reporting if they feel like they've fallen victim. The foundation wants to be where consumers are and not just expect consumers to find us. That means we're reaching out through social media, through newsletters, websites, certainly in-person events, as well as through innovative channels like television, through our Tricks of the Trade documentary, and now we're engaging in the development of a video game. The game puts players in the mindset of a fraudster to show the underlying tactics of a con. Learning to spot these tactics can help investors avoid fraud. We were very fortunate that the Tricks of the Trade was carried by American Public Television to public television stations around the country. That enabled us to reach millions of households with our message. We're currently distributing a new documentary called Thinking Money. The film explores the psychology behind our financial decisions with a mix of fascinating theory and practical takeaways. It's airing on public television stations across the United States. Partnerships are incredibly important to the work that we do. Innovative partners like the National Crime Prevention Council, that's McGruff the Crime Dog, enable us to work with law enforcement and crime prevention and peace officers in the community. We have many different partners. One example is the Better Business Bureau. They have over 100 BBB affiliates, which is what they're called, in communities across the country. And we have trained about half of them in our Outsmarting Investment Fraud curriculum. One interesting story from Florida, we work with a group called Seniors vs. Crime, and they're a crime prevention agency that reaches across the state. And one day my contact at Seniors vs. Crime in the Villages, Florida called me so excited. The day before, we had placed an advertisement about the importance of asking and checking in the Villages community paper. Well, that very next day, he had given a presentation to consumers. About 50 people came, and one of them came running up to him afterwards, holding the newspaper, saying, wait, this is the same as that article. Because of you, I went and looked up my advisor and my financial professional in broker check. And we feel that that's a perfect acknowledgement of the impact that we're having with investors. Our mantra is, before you invest, ask and check. It's so important for people who have worked for 30, 40, and 50 years to save for their retirement. We impress upon them, do not sign away on the dotted line in 30, 40, or 50 minutes. At the heart, money is emotional. It's emotional for everyone. But fraudsters ratchet up that emotion to get people to make an emotional and not a rational decision. And when it comes to investing, we really need to make sure that we're checking off all the boxes and doing our homework and using our smarts before we invest. Mm -hmm.